there's an incredible line um, in the first act of the film that one of the prisoners who in the in these sort of montage of prisoners that are on death row that are speaking to Brian for for the for the first time, mm. one of them says, "The judge said to me, 70 reform was a myth propagated 70 years ago." I think I'm I'm probably getting the line wrong, but something along those lines, and this idea that there is no such thing as prison as reform within our prisons at this at this point, they're not there for that reason. Uh, Rob was talking earlier and about the 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 lie of rehabilitation. Yeah. And his experience of that in the jail cell scene. Maybe his rehabilitation was a myth from 70 years ago. Some, one of those two things. Yeah, Rob. Yeah, I mean, if it was really about uh, rehabilitation, then I think the system would be uh, operating on a whole different accord, you know, because, uh, uh, you know, Tukey Williams, anybody familiar with Tukey Williams? He was the guy credited for starting the Crip game in L.A., well, while he was serving time in prison, he actually uh, became a, a top seller uh, children's book writer, uh, denouncing gangs. He was also uh, nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize, right? Uh, they executed this man. Is that rehabilitation? You see what I'm saying? Like, even while he was in, he still was able to show that rehabilitation was possible, but then they still executed this man under Arnold Schwarzenegger. But that's something totally different. That's just uh, another case of injustice, I believe, or another case of how if the system was re really about rehabilitating, I don't know if it would be as, as, uh, as, as sick as it is to house somebody in a four by eight cell is that really healthy? Is that really giving somebody an opportunity to say, okay, I'm, I've, I've committed wrong and I'm ready to change? You see what I'm saying? Like, is that really rehabilitation? Or give the system or state's attorneys absolutely no initiative to uh, pull cases back or, 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 or go through the appeals process, right? Like, all of the state's attorneys uh, or prosecutors, for the most part, once someone is convicted, they have no interest in, yeah. trying, to, in trying to help with the appeals process whatsoever. That, or even if you can afford Yep. representation to even get an appeal, which oftentimes people are put in places where, uh, like Khalif Browder, the young man, 15 years old, that was convicted of uh, taking a, a, a book bag, which was found to be a, a, a lie, and this young man spent three years in a grown man prison at Rikers Island without even seeing a court date. And that's justice. But then you can have a 14-year-old kid run a red light and kill a family of four, and he's uh, given the penalty of affluenza because he was too rich to understand what he was doing. Is that justice? I think something that Brian talks about is there's a quote that he says, you know, we don't put crimes in jail, we put people in jail. Yeah. And I think that what is happening when we think in terms of the legal system in America, the system, when we think in terms of reform, and they're kind of all these big words, these umbrella words, these umbrella ideas, but we have to get back to the core, which is understanding humanity and understanding that we are all human. When you think in terms of another idea that Brian has uh, in terms of, you know, the fact that slavery didn't end, it just evolved. Mm -hmm. And so then the worth of a person is then determined by that underlying theme. And so if we can begin to have conversations, if we can begin to enact change that really restores humanity and dignity at its core to every person, then you can't dismiss or disregard a person. As long as you can label someone other, as long as you can discount someone's being, you can do anything with them. But if you can honor the person as a human being and see their worth, it's very difficult to make those sweeping charges or sweeping, sweeping um, discriminatory acts against someone whose life you value and you recognize. And so I think that the work that Brian is doing and I think that the conversations that this film in particular is fostering helps us get to a place as a nation where we begin to recognize the humanity in every person. And I believe that is at the core of the change that we so desperately need. Mm -hmm.